Hello and hey there everybody. Hope everyone is doing all right and well out there. Enjoying your day. Uh, this live stream currently here on Twitch. And this is Dirty Gamer here with a video. And it's going to be on the Fortnite item shop in the Mariana or Mariana outfit uh, locker, kind of like overview and review. Thanks to uh, all my subscribers and followers. And make sure that you um, view like up thumbs up my videos and i have those bell notifications turned on for those new to my channel kindly subscribe which is for free on youtube and also uh, throw me a follow on twitch also free i appreciate you all very much for doing that all right so on to the uh video here so we have the mariana outfit it is reactive as you can see it's part of the daily tab here um, as I'm doing this here on uh, December 14th, 2022, it did hit the store uh, yesterday, 12-13, uh, 2022 at uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as you can see here, it's part of a Seaglow set introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3. And as you can see here, um, it does react. It's reactive outfit, reacts to eliminations and loot. And it uh, kind of has like that... Uh, Skull, like a green jelly skull face here with some long hair. Um, and all over the uh, body and uniform, it does have like a pulsing multicolored sprites that are coming up there. Uh, unfortunately, on the feet, there isn't really anything. They're just kind of bare. And there's like little like, um, uh, like sort of like pink, pink like Flail fins almost, I guess, off the feet. So it's kind of like a mermaid type of look. Um, and also, this also comes with a moon jelly back bling. It, it does also say it is reactive. And uh, something else to note when I put it in the locker uh, that you will see a little bit of a difference when I put it on. Um, so we're going to take care of this and get this sorted, as you can see, for 1,500, 1,500 fee bucks here. All right, so let me just get this uh, sorted in here for the shot. All right, I've got it. All right, so what I'm going to do is equip both. And then what I'm going to do next is uh, demo what it looks like in the locker. So let's back out of this. Go out to my locker. All right, so one thing to know I'm going to actually do is I'm going to actually remove the backling at this point just to take a look at how different oh interesting um one other thing to note here as i got this guff gringle outfit um just to make aware that this actually can be gotten like um via the, unfortunately it's the pc only which i'm very disappointed with um, but you do have to have it on there and there's actually an op uh, in the shop there's going to be a bundle for this uh gruff gringle um, and, uh, you want to, it, it'll be for $0 in the shop. Uh, unfortunately it is what they deem, um, a PC exclusive, which I'm a little bit disappointed with, um, that they should have been able to find a way to do it on all consoles and platforms, but it's not. So what I'm going to do is just going to claim that to get that out of the way. All right, here we go. So one thing to note, as I took off the back wing, look at this length of hair difference. And uh, something else to note, which is also really cool, is if you look at the actual parts of the hair, it's also subtly, slightly colored and animated, as you can see. Almost looks like a little bit of like paint splotches in the hair, but it's really cool because the hair is animated itself. It kind of has like a life of its own, um, in addition to like the coloring, as you can see. So yeah, definitely a mermaid look, and it is reactive, uh, like I mentioned, to the, the loot. It'll, it'll definitely shine a lot more, as well as to the elimination. So one thing to note. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm, I will equip, and you'll see what I mean, um, the back wing, which is the moon jelly. And you'll see how it looks. It's only that the hair gets tucked inside of it, which is kind of interesting. Um, so without it, and it looks like it, and the hair kind of like, We'll tuck into various back blinks, as you can see. Yeah, so that's interesting. So, and actually here it gets cut off. So the hair almost gets like a hair cut or cut off or tucked in, depending on what type of back bling you use. 
uh, versus when it's off. So just something to note. Um, if you prefer, like I, I kind of did, which is the hair kind of being long and that pulsating look, that is kind of cool. Now, in terms of in the locker fit, what kind of, um, this actually, this tool actually kind of goes with it. So you want to obviously get something sort of similar that matches. Uh, I don't have that tool, which kind of pulses with it. Um, but in terms of what your, your locker may contain, obviously it's going to vary. Um, this isn't bad. Yeah, this is probably the better. This is a yeah, the purple one, probably the one I would prefer if I were to equip it. But that spire shard looks pretty good. Uh, that blade's not bad. But yeah, I still think the spire shard's probably the best. The Stardust Strikers actually isn't bad either for dual wield type here. Anything else that I have? That Epitaph Edge is not bad either. And this, which was gotten in the Season Rewards, is also pretty decent. So yeah, depending on your locker, she's going to go with anything like kind of like on the purplish side, but also if you have something kind of pulsing or whatever. But I'm going to use just these Stars of Strikers because I think they look kind of cool with their... And then, and, and this isn't bad in terms of um, the glider. Obviously, the best glider for this character will indeed be the Sky Ray. Because as you can see, the way the Sky Ray also has those like multicolored like trails and pulses, this is definitely the best glider for this character. Um, and then in terms of contrails, I really don't have anything that kind of pulses. This isn't bad. I forgot about that Reality Falls one, which it was earned last season. But this Lunar Rings also has a very nice color scheme to it as well. And then in terms of wraps, um, this does have a Capulsi scheme. It's more hex-based, but this isn't bad. Um, another one here is this uh, Heraldic. Aim Splash is pretty good too, because it does splash like a little... A little bit of a splash effect. Phantom Flame also isn't bad either. Um, but it looks like because of the multicolor, like those accents, I think this Sonic Glow might be the best. But let me just make sure that I don't want to speak out of turn. If there's something else better, Galactic Spiral isn't bad. Neither is the Eternal Zero. But oh, I forgot. I do have this Blur Blobs, which does have multicolor effect. And this black violet. So probably might between this black violet and the Sonic Glow, but I will go with the Sonic Glow. So unfortunately, it does not come with that. It is based. It is just this Mariana outfit and the back bling, just to make you aware. Um. So yeah, fifteen hundred uh, V bucks in the item shop here. Um. Does look pretty cool. It does have that reactivity and kind of like you know a uh, mermaid. Um. Uh, with like some int interesting look to them so so yeah this has been uh dirty gamer here for the um fortnite item shop for the mariana outfit kind of locker overview and review um so let me know if you're interested what you think and if you're intending on purchasing uh, answer by dropping a comment on the video liking up the video would help me out a lot be much appreciated uh comment subscribe which is free and share my video for my youtube channel dirty with two r's gamer and have those bell notifications turned on. I also do live stream on Twitch, which I'm doing here. You can please follow me there as well. Also free. And join my live streams at the username dirty with two R's underscore gamer. And for super thanks, would appreciate donations via my link to support my gaming, costs, streams, and content creation. All right. Later and get your game on.